everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the new Feed the Beast Pack Unleashed. Are you guys ready for this? I'm ready for this. Uh, so, I've done some stuff off camera here, and I have gone around, I collected some barley. The barley, um, you know, looks like wheat on the item. You can put it in your crafting grid, turn it into, I think it's called flour, and then the, you can cook the flour and make bread. So I've done that, I've went over past... Uh, that oil spout over there found a bunch of barley and I was harvesting it and so I had some food I upgraded my furnace to an iron furnace I used all of the iron ingots that I had and then I put some chests around here So I'm just keeping my little metal blocks in there ores and other stuff. This is like random uh, Nothing in this chest. We got wood products down here and since it's charcoal kind of makes sense uh, and here we got all the wood that I have mined out of this tree so far uh, This is all like the plants and natural things found some cotton took some cotton And, and here's mob drop. So yeah, we are doing pretty good on some stuff or you know only one episode I would say uh, so let me actually show you what I've done here. Um, I dug a floor Up here, so we got another room available, and I still need to put another ladder there or something uh, I think we could probably go up one more floor and as you can tell right here, the color is different, and that's because I've put in uh, some doors. So there's actually a floor between the floors. I wasn't sure if I'm going to keep this here, but I figured if we wanted a place to run wires between the bottom and the top, or, you know, store power, batteries, things like that, this would be a good utility room for doing that, so we don't have to see all that stuff. We could just have one wire coming down and all the other stuff hidden up here. So just kind of like a little access utility room using those doors like we did on the front of the of the tree that kind of, you know, blend in with the wood. Although since that is a different color, that's the bark, doesn't really blend in with this stuff, but you know, it works just the same. And then all the way down at the bottom, I found out that these trees have redwood roots which go down pretty far and it makes this weird little cross pattern uh, <laughs> where the tree grows. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. I tried digging down a little bit here and these roots go down further than I wanted to find out. You can see right there it goes down three blocks at least. So we could continue building down into the ground and making more of these floors. Uh, this might be another utility room. I was almost thinking of turning this into like an underground farm. Uh, we do want to have renewable resources for food, and we still don't have anything set up yet. But I do have a lot of these berry bushes, blueberries and raspberries, so we could start planting these and getting those going, which is something we might look at. Um, I have a new waypoint over here. You can see it's called Dungeon. And when I was over this general area looking for that barley and just collecting things and kind of scouting out the area I found a Thomcraft dungeon and you know what I do want to go take it on but we only have eight torches I think we're probably gonna want a little bit more than that uh, to you know suppress the mob spawning I mean I don't have any armor right now and I do have a home point set here so if anything happens I think we'll be okay but I do want to <laughs> try and be prepared for this keep mob spawning at a minimum if possible okay let's a little lag a little lag I think we're fine I think we recovered let's head on over to the dungeon and see what we can find over here um, yeah I didn't want to go in there because I didn't want to risk dying I want to do this on camera with you guys even though we've done you know these dungeons many many times before in like the hermitcraft feed the beast series uh, we're gonna be doing this as the first one of this world with no armor and like a stone sword that could potentially break on us when we get in there. So this could be fun. Let's go ahead and eat some food, get my saturation up so I, you know, can recover health while I'm in there. But yeah, we're gonna want to be quick. We don't want to spawn a bunch of mobs. Oop, looks like there's a spider and a zombie in there already. Let me F3A. There's a dungeon. Um, okay, we still gotta break out the bars on the front of that and get in there into the dungeon proper. And get some... Yeah, this dungeon's kind of like all messed up. Okay, let's see if we can get in here. So there is a zombie. We already saw that. Actually, what I should do... Let's get some torches in here. Maybe that'll prevent... No, there's already a zombie down there trying to get up here. Um, I don't know where that spider is. Oh. Yeah, we gotta be quick. Like I said, I don't have any armor, so this could be... 
pretty fun. <laughs> Trinkets. Oh, I can't put torches there. Um. Okay, so that skeleton's coming up. Yeah, I, I can't mess around. We gotta go. Man, you with your knockback. Got a zombie down here. Spider. Doesn't look like we have any creepers or anything. Let's just put some torches down. Try and prevent all the spawning. My sword. Oh, I do have another one. Good. Okay. I think we did this. <laughs> nice. Let's get up here. Try and take the skeleton on on our own terms. Come on, skeleton. Whew, okay. We did it. We got plenty of health left. Not bad. Not bad. Awesome. Okay, so this is good. Um, we can use a zombie and the skeleton spawners here for soul shards later on. I just want to keep those here. I don't want to mess with those at all. Uh, so what do we got? We have a thalmium sword, bronze chest plate, more of those claws. I'm still not sure what those are for. And steel chest plate, awesome. Uh, some iron, string, right? What's that string? Yeah, some string. Spoils bag. Okay, so that's interesting. This is new. Bread and redstone. And in here, bucket of force. And two more of these force shards. I was getting these from those gloves. And I don't know what to do with these things yet. So we're going to have to figure that out as well. Okay, so I think we're good. I do want to take these chests with me. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have anything to break these a little bit faster. So we'll just punch them down with our torch. Uh, that spoils bag, I think, is from Darkcraft. I'm not sure. And it should contain extra loot. Let's check this out. What do you have? Oh, okay. So another one of these force shards. More buckets. Another bucket of force. Force mitts. And yeah, that's all. Oh. And you take the last item out and the bag goes away. Okay, that's interesting. I did not know how that's or that's how that worked. Very cool. Alright, so we conquered our first one of these dungeons. Yeah, these are pretty awesome. They give you a lot of good stuff early on. If you can manage to take him down fast enough like we did. I like the way that tree looks in the distance. It's like all foggy. You can't really see it, but you know it's there. Um, so I've kind of scouted around this area just a little bit. And there's like this new stuff, this iron gravel. You can mine it with a shovel. And it's just like iron ore. You can smelt it. I think you can macerate it or use you know, a grindstone or whatever to get two pieces of iron dust out of it. So that stuff's pretty good. Uh, I've tried binding that stuff with like a pick or punching it. And it's just you really have to use a shovel on it in order to get any resources out of it. Uh, so what else we need to do? Uh, I want to get some resources established. So we're going to have to do a little bit of caving. Um, pretty much what I want to find first thing is stuff to make a grindstone. Now this is from Applied Energistics, this grindstone. Uh, we just need some regular stone and just a few pieces of quartz or nether quartz, but we don't have any obsidian to go to the nether yet. And this is basically a manual macerator. You can make a little handle, put it on top, put your ores in there, and you just punch the handle like eight times, and it turns whatever ore you put in there into its macerated form. So you put in an iron ore, you get two pulverized iron or iron dust, whatever the configuration settings are set for. I actually don't know what they are in this world, uh, but on the beta 152 WGT pack I was playing previously, that stuff was set towards the thermal expansion, the pulverized dust and stuff. Uh, so let's see, let's see, let's see. I know that this stuff, yeah, this can create 4 MG a tick for 10,000 ticks on a force engine. So that's pretty awesome. I need to figure out uh, what a force engine can do. I got six of these things. That was also working a force engine. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, I can put that glove in there. Uh, let's actually look up a recipe for the force engine. That's that's interesting. Because they're just giving us all this stuff to put in it. Force engine. This guy? Okay. So this is force ingots. Ooh, right. So force nuggets. Force gem plus a couple of iron ingots makes that. Or gold ingots, okay. Or refined iron, or bronze, or silver. Okay, so that's good to know. Yeah, I don't know anything really about Darkcraft. I really should do some research on this eventually. Yeah, because this stuff right here, the force ingots plus this equal... Oh, okay, so that's a carpenter. I see what this is saying. You put in two iron ingots, and you put in a bucket of force, and it converts that into the force ingots. Got it. Okay, so yeah, these are like all the same recipes, I think. 
And I know there's a way you can take these force gems and turn it into a liquid force, but I don't know how to do that. Uh, that'll also be something I'm going to have to figure out at some point. Okay, so ores, we can put this stuff away. Yeah, we are, we're doing pretty good, but I do want to go collect... Put on that steel chest plate. And we could use a Thaumium sword, but I'm probably going to want to save that to enchant it. Um, yeah, we are going to want to go mining so we can get some stuff to you know turn our ores into double the ores so we're not wasting the stuff okay iron bars is kind of miscellaneous string can go in here redstone over here and i'm not sure chest i think i had yeah i had that stuff down here books let me probably just stick that stuff over here with the iron bars okay inventory sorted i cannot wait to get applied energistics so i don't have to worry about sorting things oop night time let's sleep okay uh, also, in the last episode, in the very first episode, everybody was asking what the seed was. So there's the seed. Um, I'm also going to put the seed in the video description. I put it into the previous episode's description, too, after people were asking for it. I got the seed. Um, but there you go. And I've heard reports that people have used this seed, and they came to this spot, and there was no giant redwood tree. So I don't know what to tell you. It might be random on world generation. It might not be based on the world seed where these trees are formed. So I really don't know what to tell you. Okay, so I know there was... Let's see. There was a cave around here somewhere. Right there. Actually, what I really should do is make an iron pick in case we go down far enough. We find diamonds and things like that. I want to be able to get some of that stuff. So let me take some of this already smelted iron. Probably could make some more armor out of that stuff, but I think we're going to be fine for now. Yeah, let's take some of this. Let's go ahead and make... Let's go ahead and make a, an iron pickaxe. Awesome. All right, I think we're good to go. Yeah, we got plenty of food on us and all of that. So let's see. Let's see. I don't even know what's down here. I haven't checked out these caves at all. And this is a dead end right away. Uh, amber. Yeah, don't think I really want that. Monazit. Hey, is that what? Yeah, Monazit. I don't think I want that stuff. Uh, that's for the modular force field system mod. And at this point, I am way far away from even thinking about setting any of that stuff up. Uh, that's a cave that doesn't go anywhere. Hmm. I was hoping there was going to be a cave nearby we could go in and explore and try and find some quartz easy. But I don't think we're going to be able to do that right here. No. Um, well, we could poke around like this pine forest. Oh, another thing I want to do is set a waypoint here for for this tree. Let me set it back here so it's not like inside the tree. So do a waypoint. Oh, and people were asking me what the buttons were for the map. It's actually like the minus and the equal sign. Um, let's see. The... The minus sign, oh, goes straight to the waypoint, so that's good. I should start doing that. We'll do this um, base. Done. The equal sign brings up this mini-map options. The one of the bracket keys brings up the big menu, and then, like, the backslash or the forward slash key can zoom in on the menu. So, yeah, all that stuff has been changed from, like, the previous mod packs, as far as I know. Not quite sure why they made all those changes. It might be because of Dark Craft. What is this over here? Oh, there's lava right next to our house. Awesome. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we still need to find rubber trees like we were looking for last episode. I really don't want to spend all episode hunting around for those. If we find a cave, we're going to jump into that cave and try and find some quartz so we can set up like a quartz grindstone like I was talking about. Uh, but if we do find a rubber tree, that's going to be pretty sweet. Ooh, what is this? This is like an outback biome here, I think. What is this? This is in a scrubland. Okay. Oop, another hive. This is a resonating hive. I like this biome. There's like a lot of stuff going on here. It's pretty awesome. And this, is this a cherry grove? What are these? These are... Cherry Blossom Grove. That's pretty awesome. There's also, yeah, these clouds up here. I checked those out in the beta pack. And apparently, you can use those for, like, long fall. Like, if you jump down onto them, you sink in a little bit, you take zero falling damage. So those are pretty cool. I don't like how this is not loading. Okay. So, not seeing any tulip. 
in Anemone. <laughs> yeah, not seeing any caves nearby. That's unfortunate. Um, ooh. Ooh, what is this? What is this biome? Barley. Barley for days. This is a pasture biome. So does this... Wait. Oh, these don't drop anything, huh? Oh, they did. Barley, and that doesn't turn into anything. Okay, so barley's a random drop from this biome. That's interesting. Oh, here we go. Now I just got an achievement for being in the pasture. The green, or the grass is really, really green, so that's cool. Hmm. Not very many features here. I mean, this is pretty flat. I was kind of hoping to find a cave. Oh, here's a bunch of barley that's been popped off. Guess we will collect that stuff since it's free. Um, squid. This cherry blossom biome is pretty awesome. I do like this. I don't think I've seen one of these before. Wild cherry or white cherry leaves. Do all are all these different? Yeah, pink cherry leaves. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. And curious hive. <laughs> yeah, they've renamed all these things. Very, very cool seeing like the new stuff and still exploring and figuring out everything. This is a mangrove biome, I think. What is this? This is, yeah, mangrove. Ooh, that's a interesting tall tree over here. New biome this way. Okay, so this is really watery and stuff. Um, I think I see hardened, gla or hardened uh, ice over there. That might be a glacier. Here's spider. All right, there is a spider underneath me. I think what we could do is we see all those mobs on the mini-map. We could probably find where there's a big cluster of them, dig down, and we're sure to find a cave that way, um, which I might end up having to do. I was really hoping just to find, you know, an exposed cave in the side of a mountain or, you know, something like that where we could just go in, get some resources, and come back out. How far away am I in for the base? 520 blocks? All right. We got plenty of food, so hunger won't be an issue. We can always just hole up in a underground or something, you know, if monsters coming out, if we need to recover or whatever. So I think we should be fine. What kind of a biome is this one? This one is a deciduous forest. I do like this. Okay. Walk in, walk in, walk in. Yeah. Bunch of hard and nice. Oh, yeah, another thing people are asking me from the last episode are these tool tips. How do you get those on there? What mod is that from? That is from NEI. You just go to options here in your inventory and highlight tips shown. Turn this on or off. And the shown, just whatever block you're pointing at, shows a little tool tip on the screen. So that's really cool. I do like that feature a lot, uh, especially when you're playing in a newer mod pack and there's a lot of new stuff around. You don't want to break things to find out what they are. You can just look at them, and any eye will tell you. Okay. Kind of feels like there should be a cave around here, but man, there really is a lot of caveless area here. Well, while we're here, let's go ahead and take this. I mean, this is some iron anyway. Yeah, this, even with a shovel, this stuff breaks super slow. Okay. Got the stuff. We're good. Some berries, pigs. Hmm. 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 Ah, more berries here. Are these just blueberries? Yeah, we have blueberries. We don't need those. I think we're still looking for a few more different types of berry bushes. Um. Yeah. So keep walking. Keep walking. We will find something we're looking for eventually. <laughs> All right, so it's like a glacier. Yeah, it's a glacier biome. I see holes in the ice here. I wonder if those are caves. Okay, well, this is kind of a cave. Does this go anywhere? Oh, it does. Okay, well, we found ourselves a cave, so that's cool. And it ends really abruptly again. Well, we're finding a bunch of iron anyway, so that that's going to get us where we need to be. But I would like to find quartz. So we can do the grindstone, and we can double our amount of ores that we find. Um, I could branch mine, I suppose, but yeah, really not interested in branch mining, to be honest. 
Yeah, I was through there. And there's more stuff here. Ah, copper. We'll take this. Okay. Very, very shallow cave. <laughs> Alright, caving trip over. Yeah, not really. Uh, yeah, let's keep walking around. We're going to find something eventually. we still got daylight left. And I probably will dig down into the ground, trying to find a cave um, when nightfall happens. Ooh, there's like maybe a mini ravine here. Are those vines or what is... Th yeah, that looks like vines. Okay, there's stuff here anyway. Yeah, that's... Wait, what was that? That's called moss. Ooh, moss. Can I break that and get that? Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Okay, moss. That is pretty good for Tinker's Construct, so I will go ahead and take this stuff. Uh, you can make moss with mossy cobblestone too, but it takes nine of them. So I really don't want to waste my moss doing that, or waste my mossy cobble. Okay, so there's a bunch of mobs in here and down here. Yeah, creeper, enderman, coal, I hear chicken. Watch out for those chickens. A couple of endermen down here. I almost feel like I should try and fight these guys and get some ender pearls. Um, yeah, I can hide back here. Don't teleport. Don't teleport. Just take the sword. Nice. Ender pearl. Okay, let me see if I can get this guy. Come on. Oh, he teleported. Not good. Not good. He's probably going to get at me uh, when I'm not expecting it. Oh no, um, okay, well I think we'll just deal with it. Hopefully he teleports me quickly and we can get this over with. Skeleton. Hey! It's not very nice. Uh, I'm looking at the mini-map and I do see an Enderman, but he's like pretty far away from me. I don't know if he's still aggroed on me or not. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing lots of mobs spawning all around this area. So this seems like a pretty good cave. Hopefully I don't die to that Enderman. Hopefully he like, went into water and he forgot about me or went out to the sunlight. I don't know. But. Whoa. There was another creeper there, wasn't there? Yep. Wow. I was like pretty far away from the creeper, wasn't I? Come here, little fella. All right. Yeah, we got stuff up here. Stuff down there. <laughs> stuff everywhere. Oh, are these guys? Yeah, look at that. These guys are smart. They know where to go. Now, my sword's probably going to run out, and I don't have any wood. Um, that might be a problem. Well, hopefully we can find what we need really quickly. Ooh. Yeah, that's that force stuff down there. Uh, while we're here, let's grab this iron. Anybody... There is a zombie coming. Oh, there's a zombie dungeon down there. Or, well, I don't know if that's a zombie dungeon, but there's a dungeon. Okay, that is good to know. Might be able to find some good loot in the treasure chest. Get out of here, get out of here. Okay, um, I do want that shard of minium. Okay, so there's a dungeon. Whoa, get me up out of here. I wonder if that is... A zombie dungeon or what? Let me... Might be a spider dungeon? Or a skeleton dungeon? I, don't, I really don't know. <laughs> we'll find out here in just a second. Bunch of zombies. So yeah, probably a zombie dungeon. Let me get some blocks on the bar. Do that. Light this up. Okay. What do we got? Zombies. Lots and lots of zombies. Yeah, my sword is going to run out before I know it. I need to get in here and get some torches. Awesome. We got a zombie head too. Okay. Hearing things walking around, I'm not liking that. I'm just go and fill this in just so I feel a little bit safer. What do we got here? We got a music disc, some copper. Take that. All of this stuff. And in here, tin, string, wheat. Buckets, and yeah. So nothing really good, but we do have another zombie spawner. So later on, if we ever want to make a zombie grinder with soul shards, this is going to be really helpful. I'm going to actually put a waypoint here. Zombie spawner. Very good. Okay, I think we, we can get out of here. 
Now I'm here at so many zombies and spiders around. Almost makes me wonder if there's more dungeons or anything nearby. Don't know. Uh, but we are next to a cave, so that could just be natural spawns. But yeah, we are looking for... Oh, am I out of torches? Oh, man. Okay, we're going to have to mine some of this coal. Uh, and I'm going to need some wood from up above. Oh, I'm not prepared at all. Dang it. Yeah, um, still looking for that quartz crystal. So let's try and get up out of here and see if we can find... Ah, uh, that's where that spider is, right? Yeah. Oh, there goes my sword. Picked him to death. Pick him. Creeper. Okay, so this isn't good. <laughs> die, creeper. No. Die, die. Oh. Should be looking at my damage indicator to know how many times I have to hit him. Can I just punch down something like this? And get some of this wood, please? <laughs> I just need a few sticks. Oh, come on. Give me. Give me. Did I get it? I have two logs on me. Okay. So we got some wood. Alright, so that should allow us to make some torches, which <laughs> we definitely need when we go caving. Um, some... Oh, 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 come on. Jump up on the blocks. Yeah, I'm still not seeing any quartz crystal around here. There's an orberry bush down there. Uh, but yeah, let me go ahead and mine some of this coal. We'll make some more torches. Poke a little bit further into this cave. Hopefully we'll come up with what we need. Uh, so let's see. I'm going to need... I think that should be enough coal for the amount of wood I have. Oh, got a level 10, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so turn this into that. And those into sticks. Um, I should have made a crafting table so I can make a new sword, but that's fine. For now, I think we will just do that. Yeah, I'm going to need a sword. <laughs> Let's go find ourselves another piece of wood. Chicken. Um, see if I can sneak over here and grab a piece of wood. There's one. I don't hear any mobs nearby. Okay, <laughs> I think we're good. I think we're good. I see mobs everywhere on the map, though, so this is freaky. Alright, I think we're good. Yeah, let's make a crafting table and make another sword or two. I think we'll just hide out in here for now, just to be safe. Okay, so crafting table and that. Okay, so there's that and then I'm gonna make two, three? No, let's just make two. Two swords. Stone rod. What is a stone rod? I only made one sword. Let's make a second one. I'm not sure what those stone rods are. Okay, and we will punch this back and let's go caving a little bit more. We're still looking for three quartz dust is all we need. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'll mine the rest of this iron on the way out. Once we get what we're looking for. Yeah, so that's aluminum. That's for a tinker's construct. There's a creeper. There's some quartz. Yeah, I see... At least two pieces of quartz, so that might be enough. Depending on our luck. I don't know where that creeper is going to go. What's the blue slime down there? Um, nope. I knew he was going to sneak up on me. <laughs> skeleton over there. Okay, I got the skeleton's attention. I don't know if he can come up over here. Looks like they're both trying to. Whoa. Can you get up here? Nobody behind me. Don't think they can get over here unless they're pathing all the way around somewhere. Are you guys pathfinding? You are pathfinding over here, you sneaky little guy. So that means that zombie's gonna pathfind over here too. There's that spider. Screw this guy. Alright. Nice. Water somewhere. Okay, so let's see if we can get our quartz and just get out of here. How much inventory I got enough? Oh, that zombie's gonna come over here. All right, we gotta take care of the zombie. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so now can we mine this in peace, please? Get that. Oh, there's a lot of quartz here. Good. Good, good, good. 
Do that and that. Ooh, what do I have that I don't need on me right now? What to get rid of? I hate it when I look at my inventory trying to find something to get rid of and I don't know what to throw away. Hmm. Zombie head? I can put that on my own head. Okay, there we go. There's an extra inventory spot. Okay, so. We have what we came for. Now, it's just a matter of collecting extra resources, kind of waiting out the night time. Bring it back to base and being able to use this stuff for what we need it for. <laughs> awesome. We are well on our way to getting all the resources we need. I think there's a hole under this block. Nope, we're good. Is there any more quartz under here? 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 Nope. All right. Uh, I need blocks on the bar. And let's get out of that hole. And that's just amber. What's back here? Looking, looking. Not really. I mean, there's stuff around. Oh, my skeleton's dying. I would imagine it's now light or daytime. I was going to say light time outside. Imagine it's now daytime water hive underground. That's interesting. I wonder if that is actually a water hive or if that is just mislabeled. And it's actually supposed to be like a rocky hive. I don't know. Okay. Here we go. Collecting resources. Probably going to cut out if I haven't already and collect some of this stuff off camera. And I'll bring you guys back in. Uh, when we get back towards the uh, the base. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so this is pretty interesting. You see this zombie right here? He's wearing the same exact armor I am. And he's using the same weapon I am. So apparently in this new mod pack, zombies, I don't know if any mobs can, but at least zombies can spawn with the same equipment you're wearing. So that is a steel chest plate and a stone sword. Just what I'm wearing. Same exact stuff. So, I don't know how often that happens, but I do know it does happen. So, it's just something to be aware of, like... Whoa, okay, we've got a bunch of these guys. Oh, this could be bad. This could be bad. That was bad. <sighs> oh, man. Okay. We need to do a rescue mission. Okay, so let's see. How do I get down there? Right, right through here. I'm just gonna drop down, eat this stuff. Try to get my health back up and going. Okay. Sword ready. There's some zombies down there. I don't remember where it was, actually. Uh, latest death. Okay, so there's my death point. Oh, yeah, here comes a gold zombie. Oh, man. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. My time's limited here. I need to get my stuff. Oh, how much health do you have? Okay, you're dead. And you dropped a gold chest plate. Oh, nice. Okay, let's see if I can get back here. Oh, there's a... Oh, okay. Where in my stuff? Where in my stuff? Stay back, stay back. Good thing it's just a stone sword and not like a crazy sword. Did he drop? Oh, I gotta get down there and grip my stuff. I'll grab that in a moment. Let me try and grab this other stuff that's on the ground. Okay, I am out of room. What can I drop? Gunpowder I don't really need. Should probably put this stuff in order <laughs> so I know where my things are. Oh, man. Come on, food on the bar. Uh, I can probably drop the zombie brain. Okay. Yeah, let's get down here and grab my stuff. I'm just going to drop down here. Yeah, chest plate I want. There's a skeleton back there. Oh, I don't have torches on my bar. Uh, torches, torches. Do I have torches? Doesn't look like it, so let me see if I can get that armor on. Okay, and man, look at these stone swords that I have. Okay, I think we should be able to get out of here, hopefully safely. I think I got everything I needed. Let me just double check out my quartz and stuff once we get safe. Okay, we have the quartz dust and we have quartz crystal, so I'm pretty sure I can turn that into dust. No, no, I can't. Yeah, I am going to need another quartz dust. So we're not quite done here yet. <laughs> Great. Okay. I'm hearing more zombies around. Uh, one death. Not too bad, really. Did I see something else? Yeah, there's a uh, zombie brain in that. Right, so we're still looking for more quartz dust. Let's go. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't have torches. Okay, so that's going to be a problem. 
Um, let me hide and let that zombie or that skeleton come over here. Okay, die. Okay, so multiple of these things. Can I put both of them on my head and save an inventory? Do I can only put one on? Only one. Okay, that's too bad. Um, still wanting to put torches down. <laughs> Dang it! Another spider. Another couple of spiders and a zombie. Come on, spider. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, die. Yeah, hopefully we can find that quartz crystal really quick. I want to get out of here and try and, you know, get my resources back. That is tin. Creeper. Come on. Die. All right. So just looking for a... There's a piece right there. Hopefully we get some dust. Where's my pick? Pick. Awesome. Here we go. Okay, so we got all we need. I think it was just those three dust. Let me just try and poke up out of here. I am ready to stop caving. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I don't think it's nighttime outside just yet. I think we can still probably make it back. And do I have, like, my steak? I do. My bread? I do. Okay. So we got most of my stuff back, which is awesome. Right. So... <laughs> I think it's time to get out of here. We have to traverse the uh, it's copper gravel, traverse the uh, the openness outside to get back home. But we have food, we have swords. We're gonna make it. I will see you guys back at the base. And <laughs> look at this skeleton riding a slime. That's awesome. All right, guys. So we've made it all the way back to the base. We are pretty much home free. I don't think anything's really going to kill us before we get in there unless there's a crazy creeper inside. There isn't. We're good. All right. So we collected a lot of stuff. Uh, bows. We got some shards of minium. All sorts of good monster drops. Let's see. What else do we got in here that's monster drops? I know I got that skeleton skull on my head. Um, I think that that's it, right? Yeah, I don't see anything else in there. Okay, so we got plenty of resources too, which is great. The quartz and all this stuff. Uh, I need to smelt up, I think it was like three. I'm trying to remember, the grindstone. Let's see, the grindstone is, yeah, it's three stone, a wooden gear, and some quartz dust and some cobblestone. So yeah, pretty easy. So let's go ahead and grab a piece of charcoal. And in fact, I think what I should do... Oh, I put 41 in there. Let's actually put 10 in there because in the iron furnace, one charcoal will smell 10 items. All right, so that's pretty good. I don't know why my inventory did all of this. That's pretty weird. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and make that grindstone and we will be right back. Okay, guys, so we're done smelting that cobblestone to stone. Let's go ahead and make a grindstone. So here it is once again. We need to make a wooden gear, which is just some sticks. Makes that... So, okay, um, let's try, no, okay, so this is the wood sticks from the redwoods, we can turn these into torches, but we cannot turn those into wooden gears, that's interesting, so we're gonna need regular wood, it looks like, so go ahead and don't throw that stuff away, if you do find one of these trees, okay, so I think it's that, there we go, so there's a gear, so I think we should be able to do, oh, I need the quartz on me, grab that stuff and I have the stone the cobblestone and everything ready to go there we go so there's a grindstone now there's also a handle and I believe the recipe is like this and we can make the handle or the wooden crank from these types of sticks so it's like some recipes work some do not okay so here we go here's our manual macerator so we'll stick that there put you here and you just Right click this guy and you can macerate your stuff. I think that interface might be slightly different. They might have updated it. Um, so let's do, I'm pretty sure the iron gravel works. I'm not, I've never tried it in this. Yep, so the iron gravel's here. And you have to turn this crank, I believe it is eight times, and then it turns it into either the dust or the pulverized, or um, probably like, there it is. Okay, so it's turned into pulverized iron. And then this you can put into your furnace or whatever and turn that into the iron ingot. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Unfortunately, you have to sit here and spam click this thing 
to get all of your ores done. Uh, in a previous version of this, um, of Applied Energistics, you were able to make a turtle, an engineering turtle, and program it to do this for you, but they have since removed that, so you do have to do this manually. Okay, guys, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. We've had quite a long episode. Probably going to have to edit quite a bunch of this out. A lot of running back and forth and all that stuff. But yeah, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.